The Conference USA announces Players of the Week for April 8th. Starting on the baseball diamond, two pitchers share this week's honor. Marshall righty Aaron Blair repeats and shares the award with Connor Fisk of Southern Miss, while Memphis second baseman Zach Willis is the hitter of the week. Blair struck out a season-high tying 11 batters and walked one in an eight-inning two-hitter in a series-clinching win over number 19 Houston. The right-hander's 11 strikeouts included five he struck out looking. For the afternoon, Blair allowed just four base runners. Houston batted two of 26 against Blair as the Las Vegas native retired as many as 14 in a row in the victory. Blair also kept the Cougars hitless when they had runners on base. Fisk threw the school's first complete game shutout since May 2012 in a 2-0 blanking of Tulane on Sunday. It was also the first two-hit complete game for the Golden Eagles since Barry Bowden defeated Louisiana Lafayette in 2008. Fisk also allowed just two singles in the contest while posting his third win of the season. After a single and a walk in the sixth inning, Fisk retired the next 10 batters he faced. He finished the game throwing 103 pitches, 65 were strikes. Willis was 5 for 10 with three RBIs in the weekend sweep of UCF and two of his three were the game winners. In the series opener, he was 2 of 3 for his 10th multi-hit game of the year. On Saturday, Willis hit an RBI single to left field to drive in the eventual game-winning run in the 5-2 victory. With the Tigers going for the sweep, Willis went 2 of 4 with a pair of RBIs as Memphis edged the Knights 8-7. He notched his first of two RBI on a ground out in the third, then brought in one out double in the eighth for the game-winning run. In the series finale, Willis was 2 of 4 with a walk and a stolen base. On the softball diamond, UCF sophomore Mackenzie Outis has been named the pitcher of the week, while Shaylin Braxton of Marshall is the top hitter. Outis went 3-1 with a 1.17 ERA in four appearances last week, leading all CUSA pitchers in innings, strikeouts, and wins. In a loss to number 3 Florida, she allowed just two hits in five innings and struck out 11 batters. Against UTEP, she spun her second career no-hitter in Game 1 as she allowed just a pair of walks to go along with eight strikeouts over five innings in the 8-0 victory. In Game 2 of the doubleheader, she tossed three innings of a one-hit relief and earned her second victory of the day. On Sunday, Outis had a record-setting performance. She racked up a 2013 league-high 17 strikeouts, which also tied the all-time record for strikeouts in a conference game. She allowed just five hits and two runs over 11 innings of work, also a career high. It was her third victory of the series as the Knights earned their first weekend sweep of the season. Braxton hit 455 with a 5 for 11 performance last week as the Hurt claimed a series win against Houston. She led the team in hits, runs, home runs, RBIs, total bases, and slugging percentage. In game one, she went 3 for 4 with a two run home run that added to the five inning 13 1 victory. In game three, Braxton was responsible for four of the five Marshall runs hitting a three-run homer in the first inning and a sacrifice fly in the fifth, bringing home the winning run in a 5-4 ball game. This is Braxton's first Hitter of the Week award. Moving to outdoor track and field, the female award goes to UCF's Octavius Freeman and from UTEP, Daniel Tarango wins the male honor. Freeman was selected as the USA TFCCCA National Female Athlete of the Week. She had a record-breaking performance at the Pepsi Florida Relays. Freeman improved her meet record and broke a 15-year-old Percy Beard track record in her first 100-meter race of 2013. Her first place, personal best, and new school record, 11.02 seconds, is currently the fastest time in the world this year. It not only leads the NCAA, but also matches the ninth best time on the all-time collegiate performance list. Freeman also shined in the 200-meter when she matched the NCAA's top time this season with a wind legal 22.85 seconds. She held off three-time world and Olympic gold medalist Natasha Hastings for first place. On Saturday, Freeman helped UCF sprint medley relay to a school record with a time of 3 minutes and 46.52 seconds, shattering the four-year-old mark by more than six seconds. Tarango took the track in the 800 meter for the first time this outdoor season. The distance runner registered a season best time of 1 minute 51.58 seconds at the Texas Tech Open last weekend. The freshman's time secured him the top spot in the Conference USA performance list this season. This is Tarango's first career outdoor track and field athlete of the week. And finally, tennis awards go to Connor Glennon of Memphis and Alexandra Malyarshikova of SMU. Malyarshikova went 4 0 on the week all against ranked opponents. In singles, she defeated number 75 Olivia Smith of TCU, then upended number 72 Dominique Harmuth of Rice. 
In doubles, she paired with Vasilisa Bulkakova for a victory over number 47 Mealy Nichols and Smith of TCU. They followed that with a triumphant win against number 17 Natalie Bizan and Harmath of Rice. The senior is now 5-3 against ranked opponents this year. Glennon improved his mark at number one singles to 7-6 on the season with a win over number 76 Sebastian Stiefelmeyer of Louisville. He also teamed with Cedric DeZutter for a number one doubles win against Albert Wagner and Alex Cornet of UL. Memphis won 4-0 against number 50 Louisville and picked up a 4-3 win over number 24 VCU. 13 of Memphis's 16 opponents were nationally ranked and the Tigers have picked up two top 25 road wins. For the Conference USA Digital Network, I'm Stacey Earfley.